Why does this head strap no longer work ever, ever again? Um, pasta, you don't have to link onions because that's not your job, but I bought this at a store and look at it. Barkeeper's friend for granite and stone. It looks exact, it's like a camouflage right on my fucking, it's amazing. Where do you even find granite? Like where is it in the ground? What made this? What animals died in it? It makes sense, right? Like granite is, is, oh fuck. Did you see that? Where are you? Where are you? What are you doing? Behave yourself. With a lover, 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 lover. Good girl. Don't do that shit. Okay, I got it. Anyway, I was just thinking to myself, what if I put Jet Dry, like for dishwashers, in the soap dispenser of my pressure washer and then clean my car, huh? Huh, where's the video on YouTube describing it? Someone look that up. Someone tell me if anyone's ever put Jet Dry in the soap dispenser or the pressure washer to try to dry their car faster. I don't think they have, because I think that's a stupid idea, but I'd like to try it, maybe on the truck. Because what the fuck is Jet Dry? I just got it on my hands. I just filled up my two dishwashers, which are both working now. This is the age of they're both working. Uh, oh my God, I got the hat. I got the fucking hat. Do you understand I got the hat? And I cut my hand off. No. Anyway. Um, so my door's open, so my neighbors are going to think I got shot. Three. All right. We got two very important boxes here. I don't know which one I'm more excited for. I'm probably going to use this one before I use this one. These um, were found by someone on my Twitch stream. Because, oh God, that's a dangerous way to cut things. Because I was trying to modify the current ones I had to hold up the lighthouses in my um, <sighs> VR rig. I have the index lighthouses. Yes, I have the index lighthouses. And they're little tripod mounts that hold them up. And little three screws. And in my apartment, I literally put two screws and then a little fucking rubber washer because it didn't need a third screw it's not shearing off, it was just a, a weighted load. But now in the basement where I'm gonna put the VR, there's no walls to screw into, there's just metal beams. So I bought those magnets that you saw me unbox with the, with the loops, and they just didn't fit, and they were so strong. Like one of those would have been overkill for just the whole fucking lighthouse. So instead of trying to modify a thing to try to save money, because these things are $25 a piece until someone pointed one out that was like, hey, this one's $12. And I'm like, $12? Fucking sold. This saves me so much effort. I'm at the point in my life where spending a little bit of more, a little bit more money, even if it means I, I have something extra it, to save me time. Like I only need so much content, bro. Bros and, and hoes. I only need so much content. So like everything's a project and everything's content. It's like yeah, that gets tedious as fuck. So this is a rubberized magnet with a quarter twenty. Actually, is that a quarter twenty? Yes. A rubberized magnet quarter 20. And this is a little ball fucking mount with a tightener. This is actually all metal. This is way nicer than the one I have the fucking yard lighthouses on now. And the lighthouses will accept it in the back or on the bottom. So I'm gonna be able to go down to my metal. Do I have anything metal here? Everything's stainless steel. Something around here has to not be fucking stainless steel. What is it? No, there, that pot. Specifically this pot will now hold my lighthouses. So, I mean, it doesn't have to, that's, it's not strong because the mag metal's not thick. The thicker the metal, the stronger the magnetic hold will be. Well, I've got a fucking half inch thick steel girder holding my house up. None of these things are magnetic. Nothing's metal. Nothing's metal anymore. Chewbacca, nothing's metal. I need to keep around a spare piece of metal now just to demonstrate magnets. This is sad. Anyway, so three of these, $12 a piece. I will pay 40 bucks, you know, with tax and everything to get an easy way to mount the things in the basement and I just pop them off and move them if I need to. Next, we're gonna go back to this. This was ordered from Tactical Bacon Patches. 
This is a tactical bacon patches. Ta tactical ba Poss, you've linked tactical bacon patches before. This is the um, flag of Tanya Dushkimfakalakimbadu from Tanya the Evil or Yogu Shenki. And so I bought a hat because that's a Velcro patch. And I didn't have anything to Velcro patch my, my, my cool patch onto. So I, I bought a hat, even though I got a million hats. And this hat has a Velcro patch thing in the front. Now this, look at this, this is a Velcro patch. What, why? Oh, it's American flag. So it's a gray American flag Velcro patch. They are, it is the identical size. So we're good with that. And I made sure I bought it in gray and it's by Terracuda. I get it like terracotta, but with a K or like Barracuda with a K. Can I actually get this out of here without ripping this? No, there's no way. Put your fingernail under it, pull it, break it off in your fingers. So anyway, here, and I had to get one with this plastic shit. I haven't had a hat with this stuff on it forever. And it hat's super fucking nice. Like the hat's got mesh in the back and I like the color. And this is a beautiful fucking like um, thin, uh, what's it called material. And it says TK for the Velcro, but it's, it's fuck, it's this style of shit. Like I haven't had a hat like this cause this always breaks. Where's this hat made? China, China, to quote uh, former President Trump. China, you gotta say it a certain way. I think I'm two notches out. I don't remember, I don't remember what my standard hat notch length was. But yeah, look at this thing, this thing's beautiful. Why isn't this like elastic or something? So now I'm gonna put this on there. How do you put this on centered? I wanna center the logo. Not the patch. I gotta level the patch. And then you put that shit on there. I've been trying to bend the patch so it fits on there. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. So when someone asks me if I'm an American, I'm like, nah, motherfuckers. I don't remember the name of the country from Yogo Shenki. But the father, and they call it the fatherland. It's, it's literally, it's like a combination of Germany and Russia in that anime. Not that I'm supporting World War II Axis powers, but fuck, I love that show. And this is like the most underground nod to Yogo Shenki that you could ever fucking have. I like how it stands out in the gray also, so. That, and I get an extra fully rubberized American flag with Velcro for whatever reason it has that. So boom, put that on something. And uh, yeah, that's the end for this unboxing. How are we doing? Great, great. Gentlemen. All right, we've got another strangely big box. I'm feeling like both of these are probably noodle stoppers because those are supposed to be delivered today. And this is two ways you can ship them. I prefer this way, Amazon. Although, it's actually this way, yeah, they're both, this is what they're both gonna be. Distributed by Japan Funtime LLC. Japanfuntime.com, only from Japan, ages 15 and up. Because that's when people get sexually active. And then this, is the other one. All right, I guess, see this has plastic in it. So it's not fully recyclable, but this also has plastic in it. If they didn't put this in it, this is the more recyclable thing. So make up your damn mind. Um, I, 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 every once in a while it's like, oh fuck. And you know what? Honestly, the noodle stoppers that I've purchased, the, the, um, the Yoko one, Pasta, I know this is gonna be a pain in the ass. Just look up in my history, um, Yoko Noodle Stopper. Um, the one that leans on my monitor in the basement. I bought that for $32 with the ass. Yoko with the ass, you'll know which one. Um, I bought that for $32. Look at the price of it in the, in the link. I'm not gonna tell you, but it's definitely more than $32 right now. These are a better investment than fucking Dogecoin at this point, because these are gonna be worth big money. Like, because they only make so many, and then people go, holy fuck, these are actually really quality, and then they buy them all. And then Doge, you know, coin. Elon Musk's, if Elon Musk said invest in noodle stoppers, in fact, you know what? I'm the Elon Musk of noodle stoppers. Fuck, am I ruining it for myself? Because a new one comes out, no one knows it. They charge the correct amount of money, which is like 30 bucks. Because I think all noodle stoppers are hand-painted. Like, anime figures still have to be painted, right? You can't print out with all the detail. That would not make any sense. 
They could also just put this in a small envelope and probably be fine. Because it's wasted cardboard and paper. Anyway, let's get to the actual. This one is sort of cute af. This one's sexy af, and this one's cute af. And that's the two, the two sides of my brain. Because girls can either be cute or sexy or a combination of both. But I can't, I usually don't want to just all sexy. That's like strip club girl. And all cute is just like, well, what are you going to do for me? Why is she wrapped in plastic? How am I going to get this off? Jesus, her hair. Her hair is forever. There we go. Okay. So this girl, backwards baseball hat. Stars on it, purple hair that wraps completely around, tidy whities That's just cute. That's just cute. Where am I putting her? Where is she going to be cute? She's going to be cute sitting right here. Because that's the point of a noodle stopper. It's supposed to sit on your like thing of cup of noodles. So if this was a thing of cup of noodles and you need to keep your lid down, you would take your anime girl with her panties sticking out and you'd go boom. And she'd hold the lid for your paper cup of noodles. And she's cute. So now this one, this one is the opposite end of the spectrum. Very little cute about this. This is more of the raw Viking, you know, wow, that's terribly packed. Holy fuck. Fate, I don't even know what character, honestly, don't even know what characters these are. Bad anime weeb. Fake Grand Order. I don't even know fate. I've not emptied this fate series for reasons. So this one, terribly packed. And much smaller, like way different scale than all the other noodle stoppers. I didn't realize that. How the fuck do I get you out of here without ruining your hair? How did you not break in transit? So this one's got mega under boob. Still not bad. I like to, to judge things, by the way, by the shininess of the skin. If the skin tone is like matted, that's good. But if it's like shiny, on like the, on the knees and stuff, it's a little bit off. And that one's supposed to lay on your thing with the tidy whities and the, the, the under boob and the hair. It's like, that's okay. That's another one, but they're different scales. So we, we could put her with the other ones that are all the correct scale. She's actually a little bit bigger than some of them. Yeah, she's a little, little larger, but she fits perfectly fine. In with the group. She's looking at her girlfriends, but this one, this one's weird. Oh, and the hair leans off the thing. So that's like specifically got to lay on something. And you don't have to put it in a cabinet. Like this is just because I'm trying to keep all my weep contained. I put her in. Somewhere in the gallery. Ah. So I got pasta shark. And I've got new Yankee candle. Oh, she's going to slide off that. There we go. There we go. Front of pasta's van. We've got dude, which is a bottle, bottle cap. He can, he looks more like he wants to be there. I'm very bored in quarantine, everybody. I've been very alone. I just need my noodle stopper, girls. And you need to shut the fuck up. That's nice. See, those are nice because you don't, it's not like an anime figure, just like boom, boom, boom. Picture of me as babies, the face reveal, cute baby, boom, and then the queen. So, yeah. Actually, you know what? This should go on the roof of the van because it's a shark. All right, that's it. We're done with these two unboxings, moving along.